Bottom of the order, seven, eight, and nine. Areola, Kirker, and Buchanan have reached three times and scored three times tonight. A run in the first, two more in the third, and two in the fourth. With a phrase we haven't uttered much in the NCAA tournament. Small ball, Jessica Mendoza. Getting the job done tonight. Since the middle of the Arizona order has been very quiet here at the World Series. Oh, we talked a lot about how once you get to the World Series, pitching is going to be harder. It's going to be a lot harder to score the runs you scored all season. So you want to be versatile as an offense. Great to hit the long ball, but you need table setters. Ariola draws the walk. The NCAA Women's College World Series with a couple of games tomorrow. We know the matchup UCLA and Georgia is one of our semifinals. One o'clock Eastern on ESPN. UCLA 24th trip to the World Series 10 National Championships. Georgia back in the semis for the second year in a row. They came out of the loser's bracket last year, beat Washington and then lost to the Huskies. And now they will try and beat UCLA twice. Aaron Aravalo, fantastic on in relief for Georgia in their win tonight against Florida. It will be a mystery, as, <laughs> as it has been, who will be the starting pitcher for Georgia. Uh, expectations, I think, would be Megan Langenfeld for UCLA. Well, and with all the upsets, you can't even predict. It's definitely a mystery who's going to win these games. I mean, coming in, no one would have thought Washington would be two and out. No one, I don't think, would have thought. A lot of people didn't think Hawaii was going to beat Alabama to get here. And that's what's so beautiful about the postseason is it's definitely a mystery. It's hard to predict. But it's definitely excited to watch it happen. UCLA as the five seed is the highest seed remaining. It'll be a Pac-10 versus SEC showdown. And if Arizona wins, that would be the face-off in both semis, the two power conferences in the game throughout the season. And called strike three on Hack. Barnaby has now uh, struck out four of the last five she has faced. It's turned into a pitcher's duel late. And that is not what Hawaii wants. They want a slugfest. Carissa Buchanan singled twice, scored twice. Well, and since Parnaby's come in, Buchanan's the only one to get a hit against her. And I think part of that reason is Buchanan being so small ball, she's just trying to put the ball in play. Everyone else struggling to, to pick up the spin and adjust. To Parnaby. Found back into the screen. An inning in two thirds with four strikeouts and the one walk on 30 pitches from Kaya. We're so thrilled that uh, her mother and sister were able to make the trip from Australia to watch her play this week. This is her second appearance of the Women's College World Series. Another strikeout, that's number five, two down. And what an heroic performance for Brittany Lestraps today, fighting the mononucleosis. Three for three tonight with a couple of runs scored. Well, and she's done it all, showing the versatility of the drag bunt, then a power getting it through the infield. Lining a base hit to left, and she's also scored twice using her speed. And for someone, I battled mono myself, and you are so tired. It feels like as if you haven't slept in five or six days. That's kind of the parallel feeling for anyone who's never had it. If you ever pulled a few all-nighters in a row, which 
hopefully many people haven't, but if you have during final season or whatever, that that is something that Brittany Lestraps is battling right now. It just feels like you can't get enough sleep. You're extremely tired. One one to Lestraps. Popped it up. Yoshikawa has it. Side retired to the seventh inning. And the last chance for Hawaii against Kenzie Fowler. Beautiful sunset out in Hawaii. And uh, is that sun setting on their season? They've got three more at-bats, and they've had plenty of late-game heroics this year. This one would top them all. They are down 5-1 to the eight-time national champion Arizona Wildcats. Win or go home on elimination Saturday at the World Series. Bottom of the order will have to start the rally. Amanda Tawali'i is flown out twice tonight, and Kenzie Fowler the last seven outs recorded, all strikeouts. And in a situation, Jessica, that appears, at least from our standpoint, that maybe the long day, the fatigue, has literally brought Fowler back down to earth, and she's not leaping like she was earlier in the day and getting called for all the illegal pitches as Stacy Chambers secures out number one. Coming up after the game, plenty of extra inning excitement. The Yankee and Cardinal finishes for you. Tom Brady's contract talks. And reflections on Coach Wooden, who passed away yesterday at the age of 99. Katie Grimes, the senior from Tampa, looking to extend her career. She and Putin Warren, Yoshikawa, and Tawali'i are all seniors in the starting lineup. Popped up to short in the third, struck out looking in the fourth. Well, in a situation for Hawaii, usually they have been able to come back with the swing of, of just one bat, meaning they'll get a one runner on base. They're usually two or one runs behind, but in this case where they need five runs to win it, four to tie, they need base runners, and the fly balls, the strikeouts that you've seen all game long, that's not the mentality to have. You want to be able to just get on base, get base runners, because right now, even a home run, that doesn't bring them anywhere near the gap they need to close. They have one ground ball out tonight. Everything else, fly outs, pop ups, and strikeouts. Just two hits, one of them the Yoshikawa home run. That's all they got off of Kenzie Fowler in seven innings during the regular season matchup as well. Full count to Grimes. Well, and Beth, before every pitch, Stacey Chambers, the catcher for Arizona, looks to the pitching coach, Teresa Wilson, to, to get the sign. They have the scouting report, report of Hawaiian hitters, so they know how to pitch them. So this isn't just Hawaii. This is also just knowledge and approach for Arizona. And another strikeout for Kenzie Fowler, two down. Kenzie Fowler.
Taylor just moving the ball so well, changing speeds, pitching to Hawaii's weaknesses, keeping them off balance, and hitting the corners. Doing such a great job, and when she comes upstairs with that rise ball, she throws the ball hard. They are just unable to catch up. Eight strikeouts now in the last four innings. Twelve in the game for Kenzie Fowler. One out away from an all Pac-10 SEC Sunday semifinal showdown. Our Capital One player of the game is the freshman. Through six and two-thirds, she struck out 12 and has allowed just the one run.